Most people know that Bay County is a military community. What they may not know is that there are three bases here, Tyndall Air Force Base, Naval Support Activity, Panama City, and Coast Guard Station, Panama City. And as News 13's Courtney Fegley tells us, from today on, Bay County will officially be known as a Coast Guard community. Bay County prides itself on its military presence and helping the men and women who protect and serve the community every day. The United States Coast Guard recognizes these efforts and thank the community in a big way. Bay County embraces the Coast Guard. Not only the Coast Guard, they embrace the, every DOD branch in this area. So it is just, it's been a pleasure, it's been an honor, and it's just amazing how not only they support the active duty, but they also take account for the spouses and all the resources available for the spouses and the family. The first Coast Guard station in Bay County was established in 1933 at St. Andrews Marina. It moved to Alligator Bayou in Panama City Beach in 1971, where it stands today. Officials say Bay County has always felt like a Coast Guard community, and Thursday's ceremony was just a formality. They, they help the families out, getting jobs, the kids in the community. Um, they also helped with during the government shutdown a few years ago, embracing us with several other stuff like feeding, feeding the feeding the, um, the shipmates and the Coast Guard, and um, stuff like that. The designation comes a day before the launch of the Coast Guard's newest offshore patrol cutter, Argus. Argus is one of four offshore cutters being built by Eastern Shipbuilding Group in Panama City. A lot of people put their heart and souls into making that come come to fruition. Uh, so I know there'll be a lot of it'll be a, a great great event tomorrow to launch that ship. It's it's a it's a great milestone for our community to be able to launch that ship. In Panama City, Courtney Fegley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. That launch will take place tomorrow afternoon. The Coast Guard Commandant Admiral Linda Fagan will be there for the launch.